Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zoom. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're pleased to announce the next version of Zim, and that is Zim Cat. <laughs> Hello there, cat. <laughs> so come to the site at zimjazz.com, and there's a little mini site right in here. You can expand, open, and this thing. And there's two sides, a catalog, ha ha ha, and a certificate. So you can press these little arrows or indeed you can swipe. So there's a bunch of new things that we present here. It may be that we take a closer look in some other bubblings at these. One is a synthesizer. So rather than go in and try each one, this bubbling is going to be more, hey, take a look at all this stuff. And uh, you can go there immediately if you so desire, or we'll be doing other bubblings specifically on, for instance, the Zim synth. So that's uh, terribly exciting. We can also wire up things now in Zim. So this dial is wired to the size of this circle, this slider. Uh, wires a rectangle that's up above on this example and basically it's a sort of a shorter way to do events so we can just say dial dot wire the circles scale and the dials value will then change the circle scale there's a new text editor which allows you to edit zim labels traditionally labels aren't editable per se we can overlay a text area, which is an HTML DOM text area that sits on top, which is editable text. As a matter of fact, the text editor itself, <laughs> did I have a text area? Did I say overlay a text editor? Yeah, that's what we've done. We've overlaid a text editor here, but there's a text area, which is the traditional HTML tag. And uh, as a matter of fact, this text editor has one because canvas uh, text isn't editable. It's a picture. So um, this provides a component way to do that as well as change a bunch of things such as the font, the size, the, the alignment, and this is all customizable as well. Here's another version of the Zim synth, but showing that our multi-touch uh, selector is, is now new. Well, sorry, our selector is now multi-touch. <laughs> it was a single touch selector where you would press something and a selector would move to it. Um, but now we've realized that under certain circumstances, we might want a multi-touch selector. So all three of these are being pressed at the same time to give us notes. Uh, oh, by the way, as well, take a look at that nice styling on things. This is called the, the uh, sound style. So if you set the style of your buttons, uh, actually, it's just the dial and the slider primarily. We may, we may roll it out even further than that, but the dial and the slider now have this um, indicator sort of that runs around it. I think we call what was that called? Well, you'll have to tune in on the specific bubblings to find out what that's called. <laughs> Something exciting. It's a really exciting name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we apply that if you set the sound to true. Uh, we have a new poly. So this is a shape like a circle, triangle, rectangle, um, blob, squiggle, and now poly. And as you're about to see, oh, not yet. So asset, uh, well, there's a line. Where is the line? <laughs> the line's still there. There's a line. Okay, so we have a poly and we have a line. And those both act like uh, proper Zim shapes where we can set the colors to them afterwards. We can animate them. Um, all sorts of advantages there. Let's pop on back. Uh, assets. Assets can now be loaded. <laughs> I just noticed there's, there's a little me. Hello, that's an asset. Uh, this is Dr. Abstract. It's like, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I may as well keep him in the picture. Huh? All right, so um, we have a new... Uh, a new mascot, a new um, family member. It's this cat. Now, the cat's name is Aomi. <laughs> Not meow, but Aomi. <laughs> Aomi! <laughs> and uh, welcome to the Zim family, Aomi. Oh, aren't you cute? And this cat is being loaded as an asset without preloading. So uh, we now will automatically preload in behind. I would suggest if you have multiple assets that you still just load the assets through the frame or through frame.load assets. But you can just load an asset. And what we do is we make a container um, and uh, use that container as a placeholder until the asset comes in. 
So it will work in most cases, I think. Keep an eye open for anything unusual, but so far so good on that. And we're also playing sounds with synth. Uh, synth has two modes to it, a tone and a play. And a play will play these special types of sounds, and a tone will um, play a tone that you can then apply effects to. So we'll come back to that, and you'll get to see that later. You may have been noticing the page transitions. So as we transition, well, let's try that again. As we transition, we're getting the bubbles are transitioning there. There's the Zim line. Here's the Scrambler. It's become quite quite exciting to use the Scrambler. I've already used it a bunch of times, like maybe 10 times since, since we've already launched this. You know, it's been 10 times in two weeks. That's a pretty good usage. So here we are scrambling a picture, for instance, but you can also scramble uh, words or letters that are in order, actually. Anything uh, that's in a line or a vertical line or a grid like this. So that's exciting. And Zim Base, quite huge. We moved the philosophy of Zim into the data side and we're saving um, two-thirds the, the amount of code. So ZimBase is one-third the MySQLi. It, it just operates on MySQLi and behind so that you have security there uh, accessing your database, but it wraps that in a, a much uh, easier way to deal. So you can check that out, especially if you're doing anything in the back end. And then this is a big long list of all of the changes that are done. This first batch up to 30 were not featured, but then here are the, the, the featured bits here at the end. So uh, it's been quite the update here to take us to Zimcat. We're really, really, really happy about that. If you click on the cat here, by the way, or press on the cat, you come back to the main cat menu, and then we're off to the certificate. But why don't we leave that for another bubbling? We'll keep, keep that bubbling short. That was the main introduction to Zim, and all throughout here as well, maybe just a little bit further in this first intro one. Um, if you come on down the intro, Right now, this intro is has been updated to Zimcat as well. So you can take a look at that. The school has not, but the kids have. So Zim Kids has been updated with a bunch of uh, new tutorials. Basic bug, bug on path, bug with sugar, and bouncing bug that even takes us into physics. The other Zim Kid tutorials have been updated to Zimcat as well. So all those are up to the latest cat. As well, the, um, the documentation on Code Like Magic is as well. One of the main changes in Zimcat you'll find is also listed in here under animation, I think uh, it's spotted, and that is the fact that time is in seconds. So where do we do an animation? Those are rectangles, parameters, and animation. Animation must be here somewhere. There it is. So it used to be 100 milliseconds, for instance, and now time is in seconds. You can change it to milliseconds if you want by saying time equals milliseconds. That's the time constant, big capital letter time. There we go. Or time equals ms, or quote ms will also do it. So if you really want to go back to milliseconds, that, by the way, is for animate. It's also for maybe 60 different parameter settings throughout Zim, uh, including the timeout and the set, or the timeout and the interval. So timeout and interval are Zim's version of set timeout, set interval. With um, They've got some cool changes in there too, such as accepting Zim V values, um, and also now, uh, of course, time being in seconds. So all of this code has been updated, and of course the documentation. So we've got spells here in the Zim Kids, but really that those are the docs in behind there. And wow, look at that bank of components. So the components have really come along, haven't they? So those have been updated. Zim School was just updated to 10.9. So if we come on back down to the beginning of it again here, uh, to the gold bars at the bottom, the lessons up to nine. This is an amazing lesson, by the way, that was just added, uh, lesson nine on data. And that goes along with Zim Base as well. Uh, those lessons are still at 10.9. We'll be putting messages that uh, you know, uh, about the difference between 10.9 and, uh, and Zimcat. 
but there's a lot of lessons in there and they're all fine. They're all fine. They're the only a couple differences are, you know, you're going to have to deal with seconds plus Zimcat adds more features that may not be in here, but that's okay. The, the basics of learning creative coding is definitely in the school. Uh, the other thing that school supports, uh, let's just pop back there again. Um, if we go into a lesson, for instance, there's the video link here and uh, all the sections also link through to the associated vi video link. So these are the creative coding lessons uh, on video. And there's 40 videos or something like that in, in this whole set. This whole set is 10.9. So to keep the school and these videos in sync together, we'll probably just leave it like that. Like I said, there, there's the difference of the seconds but it's uh, certainly manageable. So uh, these videos too were updated all the way down to the bottom. There are videos that have been added relating to ZimBase as well. So um, that's on Ajax. Here is binding. So binding is recent. Uh, that's a canvas form. There's the video on ZimBase right here. So if you're interested in seeing how that worked, there's a couple of them. Uh, Base also handles record locking. You can look into that at the very end of the data lessons. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a little bit of what's been bubbling at Zimbi. I forgot to do that in the intro. It's been so long since we've done a bubbling. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do it twice. Welcome to what's bubbling at Zimbi. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were missing something like a soundtrack or, or whatever. But, but there it is. So uh, look forward to some upcoming bubblings on the specifics of what's new in ZimCat. Ciao. I'm Dr. Abstract. And if you're still here and enjoying all these things, please come join us. ZimJS.com slash Slack. Hopefully you'll find, uh, as, as we all seem to, that coding in Zim is just a wonderful experience. So if you're looking at this going, yeah, it's colorful. That looks like fun. Oh, I want to try it. <laughs> what are you waiting for? It's all free, all easy. There's tons of ways in to Zim. Check out that intro site. Come visit us if you have any questions. We'd love to help you out. Ciao.